What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, devos? What's up, YouTube trolls? Um, hoes. Let's see. What's up, YouTube? You think you know so much, bitches? Like, what's the fuck is up? Okay. What's up, you guys? Like, seriously, I really didn't want to come. Okay, like, <clears throat> who saw to that shit? I hope you all are having a really great day when y'all are watching this, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, night, weekend, whatever. Hope you all are having a really great day. Okay, so let me just start this over. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's Real Talk Wednesday. I'm about to give you some real talk. Some of y'all really need to have a seat and stay there. Like, stay put. Just stay in that motherfucking corner. Okay? So, first of all, it's Real Talk Wednesday. I hope you guys are having, like, a really great day. Like, seriously, hope you all are having a really great day. First of all, it's Tuesday. I then went to the vein doctor. I have gotten about 14, 15 needles injected in my left leg. Okay. So, my day, that's how my day started. And I still am happy because why? I woke the fuck up. But here's the thing. What I'm not going to do is the bullshit and ignorance. Mainly ignorance. Because if you don't know me personally, then you're ignorant to me. And you don't know me. And you can't sit here on YouTube Fairyland and feel like you do know me. So here's the thing. Now, mind you, this is just what I want to put out there. There are, you know when you watch something on YouTube, it ends up showing in your feed. So say you look up RVs. Like I've looked up because I have had a dream for the past 12 years to purchase an RV. It doesn't have to be something humongous. It can be a small camper like a dolphin or a Class C camper. It would be something like that. But I felt like I'm not really going to say that I was going to put it on my bucket list because a bucket list to me, I just don't want to think like that. I always try to think positive, but a bucket list is something you want to do before you, you know, hit the bucket. But I don't really want to think like that. But I just want to put it on my to-do list because it's something that I would like to do one day, which is you know, drive throughout the United States. So it doesn't have to be like a huge RV. It's going to be me and my dog. So anyway, this has been a dream of mine for like 12 years. Okay. And so, you know, I've been looking at lots of videos for that. And um, when you look up videos, you look up one, you watch it, it starts to show up on your feed. So I'm starting to see all types of videos at this point where anything from a dolphin or a classic sea camper, RV, um, to a Ford Ram, to a conversion van, to a minivan, to a car. And these are hashtag van life. This one particular young lady, and unfortunately I don't know her name, but I've subscribed to her. She is a vanner. She lives in a van. It's like a bluish color. She has a snake. I don't remember her name, so I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about. Now that I've been looking up like RVs, like, you know, just basically prices and stuff. Not making one, not building one, because I'm not good with that. But all these videos show up. So I've been watching them just after, out of curiosity, okay? So I see videos with like um, these vans. They're not like a um, van van, but they'll be like vans like a, um, an Amazon van. Um, they'd be like all type of different vans. And they're pretty small. They're like compact, nice. They're small. But these pe people make them over DIYs. Okay? And they look really nice. And I, I really like to watch them sometimes. Start coming up with um, van life in my minivan and then you're showing like portable potties in the minivan and you're converting it into a, like aesthetic looking property okay so we're not going to live at home anymore we're just going to live out of a minivan and we're going to convert it with a sink and a portable potty and a bed and some cabinets okay so what about the people because and, and in hashtag van life so what about the people that actually have no choice but to live in their vehicle fuck it being a van or a minivan they just gotta live in a vehicle because i've seen some videos where hashtag van life and you living out of a fucking like coop coop you, you're not even living out of van but either way it's like okay so what about the people that have no choice in the manner to live in a van or a car or a station wagon or an suv like what about these people who have no choice 
they not hashtagging van life. Like, they're not putting that at the end of their fucking social media. First of all, they're not even doing social media. I get it. It's social media. You get it. You do it for clicks and views. And when I started realizing was some of these people ain't even driving nowhere. They just do this shit for the clicks and views. How I've noticed that is I've come upon a couple of videos that actually have verified it and have um, admitted to not really traveling. One young lady is a black girl. She got the most beautiful skin ever, okay? She admitted at the end of her van life journey that she wasn't even fucking driving nowhere like that. She would drive to the park and park that shit and then talk to y'all because it was scary out there and she just couldn't do it. And so it's like, all right, so you guys, like some of these videos, they're like glamorized. So it's glamorized to live out of a vehicle. There's nothing wrong with living out of a vehicle if that's what you choose to do. But what about the people that don't really want to live there, that don't really want to camp in Walmart parking lot, that don't really want to live out of their car at all okay what about them like i just felt like i was really getting tired of seeing this shit like i'm seeing people making fucking toilets out of buckets with seats on them and having it in their minivan and making it seem like it was so fucking cool to do and then i read the comments it's like that shit ain't cool because there are real homeless people that ain't got no choice but to do this shit and they ain't got no motherfucking portable potty no goddamn sink dwelling water with gray and white water or whatever color they don't have none of this shit so it started to start it just really started pissing me the fuck off so I did a short video on YouTube about it and I did a video on Instagram about it. I didn't say anything negative. I said this is what we call homeless. This is y'all this is trending. Either way, people take it the wrong way and they feel like because I said something about it, it was negative. So I got bitches, okay, and I'm saying bitches cuz that's what the fuck I'm saying. I got bitches on YouTube leaving dumbass comments. And you know who the fuck you are because I have commented back to your dumbass. You know what I'm saying? One who uh creative Okay, talking about I'm throwing stones at someone. I'm throwing stones at people because I said what I said. No, see, this is where you're ignorant. You don't even really know what the fuck I'm talking about. You just think about the negative. You don't even think that I may be standing up for people or talking about some shit that really irks my motherfucking nerve. One thing that irks my nerves the most is dumb shit. Like people like yourself, women like yourself, who try to verbally attack me like you think that really motherfucking matters. Um, I don't really know what happened to the other girl's comment on my... Uh, YouTube okay am happy she was like child please give them a place to say if you got a problem with it just be happy you're not homeless and grateful stop being so hateful and mean you really need counseling get off of social media and get some help this ain't cute first of all <clears throat> First of all, I wasn't being hateful and mean and happy. You don't sound too happy. You sound a little bit fucking miserable. Shouldn't lie to yourself. Now, for one, you don't even know what I was talking about. See, that's where you went wrong. I had to tell you about yourself. What I would think would be mean and mean and hateful would be you calling me mean and hateful. Because you don't even know me. That's like calling me a name. Am I correct or wrong? By you am happy calling me mean and hateful, that's you calling me a name. That's you being mean and hateful. Like, I never came on YouTube and been mean and hateful. And to even insult me by saying that I need counseling because I don't like people having to have no choice to live in minivans or vehicles. No, I wasn't throwing stones. Like the other young lady said, I wasn't being mean. I think that it's ridiculous that it has become a trend that some people do because they want to click. Because there are real people that can't afford housing. So that's what the fuck I was talking about. Don't come at me with the dumb shit. Because I really am not here for it. Like seriously, I... This video was not even supposed to be about this and foolishness. Like, I am not only sick and tired, but I'm sick and tired of the messages and dumb shit. Like, I said what the fuck I said and I meant it. I don't like people trending off of dumb shit. You think it's cool to be, to be homeless? You think it's cool to live in a van? You know what I'm saying? And have a portable potty and a stove. That's cool if that's what you chose to do. But there are people out here that really have no choice in the manner. And me, for one, I don't like it. So that's what I was trying to say. But we got dumb bitches like these two. This bitch said I'm being mean and hateful. Like, wow, you really took it there. Calling me mean and hateful and saying that I need counseling. What do you think you just did? You did something mean and hateful by calling me, calling me a name. Like... There's never been a time when I've been on YouTube and been mean and hateful.
okay who the fuck is gonna be mean and hateful in a wig video like come on now let's be serious okay i am happy all right let's just be on some real shit have you ever really seen me come on youtube and be mean and hateful unless you don't fucking bother me and said some dumb shit out your mouth about me or made a whole fucking video about me don't you know what i'm saying like so let's be on some real shit say that I need counseling. It's like you really trying to hit below the belt. You really trying to insult me. And that was really hateful. That shit was really mean. And like, I'm like, you know what? Would you even say that to my face if you saw me in person? Like, would you say I was mean and hateful then? What's mean is me saying that you need to retire that old, ugly looking wig that you got on as your profile picture. That's me being mean. You don't even know the definition of mean and hateful. Had you known the definition of mean and hateful, then you wouldn't have wrote that fucking dumbass comment, okay? Because what you did was you tried to humiliate and ridicule me by insulting me, okay? You tried, but sweetheart, you didn't, okay? Let's just get that straight because you knew nothing about what I was talking about. And that's okay because you're ignorant. And I get that. You guys have never seen me be mean on YouTube. I have retaliated and responded because of other wicked people who want to make videos about me on a daily basis. That's me. Okay, so I've responded. Other than that, I'm not bothering nobody. I don't really care to bother anybody on YouTube because that's not what the fuck I'm here for. Either way, what I tell y'all before, don't come for me with no bullshit. Don't come for me on no dumb shit because I'm not really here for it. And today's real talk was really supposed to be about whatever someone emailed me. But at this moment in time, I really don't like feel like I'm in the mood to do it. A person who said I'm throwing stones, girl, please, if I had a fucking brick, I throw it at you, okay, and hit you upside the head because you don't know nothing either as well. See, this is the problem with some of you women. Y'all, y'all just tight before y'all even think. I would like to say y'all would speak before y'all would think, but the new generation and even the new generation that's my age, but still act like they the new generation, they also as well type and don't think they act immature too they some of them some of them run with the with the youngsters so you know saying it is what it is but throwing stones not at all what i feel which is throwing stones is when people try to glamorize living in a van because they have a choice and that's just what they want to do to keep up on the trends when there are many people out here that have no choice that's what the fuck I don't like. But there are ignorant people like yourself as well. And your name was what? What you thinking? Excuse me, but why are you so mad at how other people are living? If you have a problem with it, then maybe you should find, you should help them out with a place to say, this is not cool. Why would you even took why would you even took the time to record this? It makes no sense in my opinion. So my short video was taken away out of content. And um, let me let me tell you, let me tell y'all something. This has been like a really great year for me, meaning mentally, like seriously. And I don't know if I owe that all to being single. And I probably do, you know what I'm saying? Because in the beginning of my breakup with that guy that used to live here, I was really distraught. I was hurt. I felt humiliated. I felt ridiculed. I felt made fun of. I felt betrayed. I felt lied to. I felt manipulated, I felt used. I felt all these things, okay? And it has been a year, and I'm gonna be honest and say this, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it, I'm happy. And this has been like a really great year for me spiritually. That's what I mean mainly, because I have, my faith has grown, and I'm trying, like I said, to be like a better person. And with that being said, there are a lot of you that write dumb stuff, write dumb things, write dumb comments, and you really feel like your words are going to really like penetrate a, another person to the point where they're just gonna really penetrate. You know what I'm saying? When you when you try to humiliate and ridicule somebody's mental, meaning I need to get counseling, it's like, girl, listen. Like I said, this has been like a really great year for me. I'm not about to allow ignorant, irrelevant people irritate me if you don't know something before you write a dumbass comment ask a question because 
There are a lot of you guys that took this way out of content. It's just so sad that everybody always thinks negative about another person. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody. I'm not saying that I don't think negative of some people. Like, listen, I think negative of those who left this dumbass comments because I feel like you're ignorant. That's a negative thought about a person. But it's just sad that instead of like jumping off the handle, jumping over the bridge, jumping over the wall, jumping off the building, you know what I'm saying? Just taking a leap. Maybe you should stop yourself sometimes and be like, you know what? Let me ask because I might, what I might be thinking might be incorrect. And like, you definitely are incorrect. Like this, this real talk did not have to be about me letting the fuck you guys know what the fuck I meant about a goddamn hashtag. I don't know. Too many people be just like really in their feelings and they just do the most. You know what I'm saying? They take stuff way out of contact and it's like some people just be like overly disrespectful and shit like that. And like the disrespect be real, but it's like what are you what are you even trying to gain by insulting another person? Like like this was kind of like all over the place. I just you know what it is with me. Like I really don't like like the negative vibes. I don't really like the negative bullshit. I don't like the bullshit in general. And I've said this on numerous occasions in like my videos like just miss me with the dumb shit. Like, don't come at me with dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't really realize. Like, I've been through a lot in a day. Like, today was a very long day for me. And, like, even... I just really don't like when people just assume, like, the worst all the time. And, like, you don't even know me personally as a person to even, you know what I'm saying, ridicule me or humiliate me or even talk about me in general. And like for you to even say something so nasty as I'm hateful and mean, it's like, who are you to even speak upon me? Like you, girl, you crazy. You out your motherfucking mind. If you think like your, your words are gonna hurt my feelings and cut me like a knife, like no, sweetheart. But what bothers me is when people really don't understand. And a lot of times it's because they feel like they know so much. And like, it's sad that you would feel like you would know a person if you do watch them. You would feel like you would know them, right? But you still don't really personally know me. And for anyone to say that I'm a mean and hateful person, that's just like, it ain't even a stab to the heart. It don't even make me feel no type of way. Because girl, please, goodbye. I know that I'm not a mean or hateful person. Let me tell you something. I grew up with no money, broke, poor, and whatever. And I was bullied a whole lot of my life, okay? By the clothing I wore, from the freckles on my face, the way my mother styled my hair. I was bullied. I know what mean and fucking hateful is. I don't have to justify myself to you because who are you to me? No motherfucking body okay but i just base my opinions and i give my opinions and thoughts of how i would handle a situation because i maybe been through enough in life but mean and hateful that's definitely not me now unfiltered that's definitely me because yeah maybe in my real talk videos i'm not really sure i'm happy if that's what you're referring to where i'm blunt and real and non-filtered where i tell people like what it really is because i'm not here to sugarcoat anything if you ask me for my opinion or something or my thoughts then i'm definitely going to give it because maybe i can help you and avoid the same situation that maybe something similar to what I went through. So maybe that's where you may feel like I'm mean and hateful because I'm unfiltered, okay? But mean and hateful, like to just go around and be that. Anyway, you guys, I gotta go. Real talk was this wasn't even really like no real talk. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all some food for thought. And not even some food for thoughts, but I'm gonna give you an update real quick about my past year. I'm very happy and okay so I've been single for the whole fucking year and I'm gonna just say this like so my life has been really great for the past year and it, I, I, I don't wanna even want to say really great but I, the reason why I did say really great is because I haven't been irritated and aggravated by any particular person so I have been enjoying my family a lot and I just feel like as a person spiritually I have grown a whole lot and and I'm proud of that because I think like a lot of these things that I'm going through and like trying to better myself on, I feel like they're old, old to my son who has passed away. Like I just try to be a better person every day and I really do try to think positive about even the worst situation, like forget. Forgive me if it's like the worst situation, but I really do try to think positive of people, like seriously, because like, who the hell wants to walk around feeling negative all the time? Like, that's just like bad vibes, like bad aura, like, and like, seriously, like you don't, 
want like that type of negative energy around you all the time. On some real shit, I just feel like this about life in general. It's just like a learning process. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like seriously like a learning process. And you're gonna meet people in your life that are just like temporary people and you're gonna meet those who are permanent. And then you're gonna meet some that are like in between, like they're there for a very long time, but then they kind of like wither off and go their way, which is fine. And like during this past year, I have met those type of people, or not even met those type of people, but I have realized that they were that type of person. And like, in my video like a year ago, I did say I would never ever forgive my ex-husband for what he's done to me and how he's left. Remember I did say that? But I don't have to forgive him for him, but I just, I forgave for myself because I don't want to be a better person. That doesn't mean that we're friends because we're definitely not that, okay? But I just want to be like a happier person and just just a more positive person you know what I'm saying like it's nothing wrong with being positive and though sometimes I may not agree with everything that somebody else may say or do there's always to me a positive in it and a reason for it and like with that being said my reasons for my videos and my shorts about band life you guys don't really understand my reasons and maybe it might have been the way that I said it and went about it that made you a little confused but straightforward I am actually tired of the fake man life videos because there are so many families out here that need a home an affordable home an affordable place to stay and they cannot afford places be because due to just rent if rent inflation and jobs and just certain things like that and they're forced to live in their vehicle. I don't feel like it's cool all the time to glamorize certain things in life even if you may enjoy recreational usage of it like van life or camping. I especially don't really find it amusing or entertaining when a person is pretending to do something. Pretending to live van life, pretending to be a cosmetologist, pretending to live van life, pretending to be a farmer, pretending to be van life, pretending to be a police officer, pretending to be van life. You see, I keep going back to the same thing, right? Yeah, and and I'm pretty sure that the people that are, are homeless, homeless, I'm pretty sure they wish that they could pretend like that was just a pretend play thing and go back to real civilization living, but they can't do that. And it's unfortunate. And like I said, there are a lot of ignorant people. And it's unfortunate because that's the problem with the world today. But other than that, you guys, I hope you have like an amazing week. You guys, I do apologize about this real talk. It was kind of over the, all over the place. And <clears throat> it, it was kind of like a real talk because I did voice my opinions and how I felt. But I do apologize that I didn't come through with an email. There is one that is, there's a couple that are waiting for me. And we will get to those next Wednesday. I did read the um, message from another um, subscriber that did stay to do a um, Real Talk Live. What do you guys think of that? If I do like Real Talk Live, what would be a great time, a good time to do the live? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know in the comments below. I do apologize for my my snappy attitude today. Hope you guys have like a really great day whenever you're watching this. But I hope you guys are having like a really great day whenever you're watching this. Little girl, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? We will definitely have a real talk video next week on Wednesday. Um, I guess it was kind of like a real talk, you know what I'm saying? I was just voicing my opinion. So on that note, you guys, I love you all. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. And I'll see y'all in a soon. Bye.